Daily Devotional, August 5 This is a day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 62 verse 12 says, Unto thee, O Lord, belongs mercy, for you render to every man according to his work. A similar sentiment is echoed in Psalm 18 verses 25 to 27, where it is written of God that with the merciful he will show himself merciful, with the blameless man he will show himself blameless, with the pure he will show himself pure, and with the devious he will show himself shrewd. He will save the humble people, but will bring down haughty looks. Then, in Ephesians 6, 8, we are told that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord whether he is a slave or free. These three scriptures serve to remind us that it is our role to love, exhort, help and lift up one another. I recently read a couple of chapters in a book that spoke of blessings and curses and was surprised to find out that the original Greek meaning of blaspheme is to speak evil about anyone believers and unbelievers, not just God, as I'm sure a number of people think. One of the things that's said happens when we constantly speak badly about others through gossip or idle talk is that we are pronouncing judgment on them, and the Bible warns us about judging others, lest we ourselves be judged. So we see why we are reminded that the Lord renders or gives back to all according to the things we do and say about others. God is indeed a God of justice. I praise you, Lord. The three scriptures are truly reflective of Luke 6.31, which tells us to do unto others as we would have them do unto us. Nobody wants evil done to them. So we should endeavour not to inadvertently do evil to others. My praises to God today are for the constant reminders that we should do good, to put it quite simply. God never ever just gives us one lesson, word or warning, but the Bible is full of examples for us to follow. God wants us to walk along a path that keeps us holy righteous and pure. You God are so good, a perfect loving Father who never takes your eyes off your precious children. Thank you for thinking and wanting the best for us Father. I magnify and exalt your name. In Jesus name, Amen.